crack the mysteries of the Earth, discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains, uncover buried treasure, and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. the giant ripples of West Bar, just upriver from the famous Gorge Amphitheater. What do these ripples in central Washington tell us about our geologic past? Even though this is a desert today, those ripples behind me were created 14,000 years ago when a massive Ice Age flood of water came barreling through this Columbia River Valley. How do we know the date? How can we prove that water made those ripples? There's evidence out here. Let's investigate. Geology is built on the adage, the present is the key to the past. Where do we see ripples in nature today? On a beach, for sure. But also in the desert, right? This is amazing out here. Have you ever walked on top of sand dunes before? It's a good workout for the legs. But if you stop and look carefully at the surface of these dunes, there's a beautiful little community of ripples. There's wind out here now, and the wind is blowing over the surface and creating the ripples. Each ripple is a quarter of an inch high. The ripples are spaced about three inches from crest to crest, kind of like a big Ruffles potato chip. The point is, without current flowing over this surface, these ripples would not exist. The current here is wind. But ripples also form when the flowing current is water. The size and spacing of the ripples are a direct result of the speed and depth of the water. When you hike on the giant ripples at West Bar, you can't even really tell they're ripples because they're so darn big. Each giant ripple is 40 feet high and 100 yards from crest to crest. Instead of fine sand, these ripples are made of gravels and boulders. Even the powerful Ellensburg winds can't move rocks that big. You need water, and you need a lot of water. The dimensions of the giant ripples at West Bar point to a powerful force that only could have come from a sudden catastrophic flood of water. The Ice Age flood that created the ripples was 400 feet deep and more than 40 miles an hour. Enough power to shear off the faces of valley walls leaving rare, razor-sharp cliffs in its wake. So the date, how do we figure this out? How long has this boulder been sitting here on West Bar? There's a new technique involving the surface of the boulder. Look, this is a clean surface without lichen on it. The geologist comes in, breaks off the outer rind of the boulder, sends it to the lab, measures parent and daughter isotopes created by cosmic ray exposure, a surface exposure dating technique, 14,000 years for this boulder right here. Music fans at the Gorge Amphitheater are drawn to the venue for its unique natural setting. All eyes are fixed on the performers on the stage. But how many in the crowd can see the drama that played out behind the stage long ago? Oh. 